So, do you know anything about sleep apnea? Hello YouTubers, it's Bill. Today is Thursday, the 2nd of October 2008, and I'm here at the Acute Care Center behind me, and I'm going in for a sleep apnea study. Sleep apnea is where you fall asleep, uh, well, suddenly. Or stop breathing when you sleep. Maybe it's when you stop breathing when you're sleeping. That's it. My doc says that I'm at risk, uh, mostly because of my blood pressure and my weight, and that it might have affected Tim uh, Ruster, and that may be the reason he died, an undiagnosed condition of, of um, sleep apnea. My doc says, I'm not going to make that mistake. I'm going to have you looked at. Oh, okay, here I am. So this is Mark. Mark gets to be my tech time. He gets to wire me up. How do you feel about that, Mark? <laughs> gonna... waving. Oh, yeah, hi. <laughs> you know, whatever. So Mark is showing me around the honeymoon suite here. It's uh, <laughs> got a TV set, a lamp, TV, a desk. You can watch the uh, you can watch the debate. Uh, I'm working. No, I'm going to watch the debate. Oh. Not you. <laughs> Jeez, everybody's a comedian. I got my own restroom. Excellent. So what if I'm scared of the dark? Oh, and there's a shower. It's a pay toilet. There's so it's a, a pay quarter. toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't bring any quarters. Okay, so I'm in my pajamas, and Mark is going to come in shortly and wire me up. It's all that stuff over there, I think. You should brush your teeth before you go to bed, don't you think? Are you watching this? This is going to be more exciting than the EKG video, I'm pretty sure. It's a mild abrasive. It helps get rid of dead skin cells. This is cleaning, scrubbing the place where he's going to put the contacts. You're scary. I know. It's very scary. We're going to look at, be looking for apnea, which is stopping breathing. We're looking for snoring and hypopnea. What's hypopnea again, Mark? Your breathing is real shallow, almost an apnea. What he said. Real shallow, almost an apnea. So all the wires plug into this box, and there's an RS-232 cable over there, which hooks it to the... There we go. Okay. Well, this is the 1020 conductive, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So he's putting the, the muscle sensors right on my leg where the shin muscles are. And this band will measure my breathing in my chest. There's another one for my belly. Measure the breathing there. This thing right here on my neck is called a snore microphone. It uh, picks up my snoring. I have a feeling they won't need the mic. I'll hear it down the hall. We'll see. She said Maverick. What does that mean, Mark? Time for a shot. Exactly. This is the pulse ox. It measures the oxygen in my blood. And it's connected to something over there. So allegedly I have brain waves. And these electrodes in the back are going to help find those brain waves. Okay, so Mark is telling me that this thing on the side of my head is for rapid eye movement, which is the dream state. And he's got quite a bit of experience here, and uh, there's some money to be exchanged. What's the deal then, Mark? For $50 cash in the morning, I'll tell him what he, what he dreamt, and for 100 bucks, I won't tell anybody. For $100, I can buy a silence, but for 50 he he'll tell me what the story was. I'm thinking that might be money well spent. Very funny. Every he got a tape measure. He's going to measure my head. I have a big head. He's going to put some dots in my hair. So she said Maverick and change in the same sentence. Not me. No, that's what she said. Up, <laughs> that's what she said. Up there, Sarah. So I don't think that's a shot. I think that's a shot minus a shot. Plus one, minus one. So you're even. What size hat do I wear? I think seven and five eighths. What they say. So, will this actually curl my hair or not? Because I'm thinking I could use some curly hair right about now. Well, I think you need more hair. Hey, 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 go easy. Easy. You know, the question is can I keep this costume for Halloween or do I have to give it back? You can come back on Halloween, we can hook you up, but we'll charge you. Yeah, no, that's not a good plan. So this one, for an extra $25, gets me the nitrous oxide. Yeah, I'm kidding, of course. You know, hello, he's not a dentist. <laughs> there, I'm going to make sure we can hear each other. Yeah, right over there is the camera. Yeah. Well, this is pretty comfortable, all in all, I'd say. I mean, really, you don't notice it after a little while. A little bit of metal. Ah! <laughs> I'm all taped up. This would be cute. 
don't know if you can see me or not, but this is it. I finished my night uh, in the sleep lab. I'll get results later. So there you go. I finished my night in the sleep lab. I have no idea how it went, except I got up a couple times. I got once to go to the bathroom and got told to sleep on my back more. And uh, Mark came in and did the pulse ox thing on my finger one time. That's all I know. But it was, uh, it was a good, seemed like a good lab. No idea how it turned out, though. So all in all, it was a good experience. Even Mark says I'm not the worst person he's worked with. Well, of the two he had tonight, I'm not the worst. So there you go. Now I'm done. Go take a shower and get some coffee. Come on. I need my Starbucks.